Hello and welcome to our tutorial teaser on hypergraph neural networks. I'm Sono from KAIST, and this tutorial is a joint work with Suyong, Yue, Alesha, Mirko, and Kijong. High order interactions are everywhere. A high order interaction indicates an interaction involving a group of entities. An example is group discussions within web communities where people share their thoughts with the group members simultaneously. A group chat on social messaging apps is another example. People in the group chat talk to the group members simultaneously to form higher order interactions. A market basket data set is also an example. The items purchased together can be viewed as higher order interactions among the items. Mathematically, these higher order interactions are commonly modeled as a hypergraph consisting of nodes and hyperedges. Each hyperedge is a subset of nodes of any size and it typically represents a higher order interaction among the nodes. For example, consider group chats from a messaging app as in the figure. Each member is modeled as a node and each group is modeled as a hyperedge. The resulting hypergraph has four nodes and three hyperedges. Each hyperedge is depicted as an ellipse containing its member nodes. We can formulate various machine learning tasks on hypergraphs. For example, in the group chatting hypergraphs, we may want to detect broad user nodes. And also, we may want to find influential user nodes in the same group chat hypergraph. To solve such tasks on hypergraphs, we can use hypergraph neural networks. Hypergraph neural networks learn to obtain node and hyperedge embeddings which are used to solve their downstream tasks. Notably, in various hypergraph data sets and tests, hypergraph neural networks have achieved state-of-the-art performance, outperforming major competitors like graph neural networks. In light of the growing literature on hypergraph neural network, we provide an overview of hypergraph neural networks with a focus on their designs, training strategies, and applications. In part one, we will cover inputs of hypergraph neural networks. In part two, we will cover message passing, a core module of hypergraph neural networks. In part three, we will present training strategies for hypergraph neural networks, covering both task agnostic ones and task targeted ones. In part four, we will introduce applications of hypergraph neural networks in various domains. In part five, we will conclude the tutorial with a discussion on open research directions. Finally, note that all the related contents are made available online. Thank you for listening, and we look forward to seeing you at our tutorial. Thank you.